hey everybody welcome back to my channel today i will be answering some of the questions that were in my previous video and you know prior videos um mostly this video is going to be about how i got into the master's program here in japan i'm just gonna give you my best answers based off of my experience and yeah let's let's get into the questions so i'm looking at my computer screen this side and please just bear with me so the first question is hey lusu so happy you got the chance to study what you're interested in with an internship since i'm graduating this year i would love to know more about the application process for the master's program here in japan so firstly what i did um if you watched my previous version video you know that i did apply to a lot of um I did ask a lot of lab um, supervisors, PIs, um, if they would accept me as their student for like a master's program. And so, uh, yeah, I then realized later on that since I was going to do an internship, I might as well just do an internship at the lab that I desired to be in and see what the experience was like before actually committing to it, you know. And so I remember I sent um, my professor this email. I'm just going to read it out for you or I'll put it maybe here or like here. I don't know. So yeah, um, um, dear professor, my name is Nyo Nyo. I am a final year biotechnology student, student who wants to apply for the postgraduate degree at this university. I am also looking for an internship placement in your lab, sir. I want to apply for the October 2020 intake and as for the internship it is from the 2nd of March 2020 to the 8th of May 2020. I believe interning at your lab will give me a vast amount of knowledge and skills that will help me prepare for the master's degree program. Attached below is a brief is my brief research interest essay and my resume for your further reference. I am very serious about this application for both the internship and master's program. <laughs> I'm also, I am currently also learning Japanese, which I believe will be of benefit for my further studies there. Okay, so I was saying, okay, so let's go over this email. So firstly, I love my confidence in this email. I'm just like, I wanna apply for this intake <laughs> and the internship is from this to this day. So, you know, I think that was very um, direct. I mean, looking back at it, it it, can, it shows that, you know, like I was really determined and I really wanted this. Not that I'm saying y'all out there don't want it, but maybe just being very direct, not very direct, but kind of like letting them know when you would like to start would kind of show that, you know, you're very um, serious about it. And then I mentioned my goal for the internship. I really just wanted to learn more to see, you know, to prepare me for this master's program, essentially. But that's not the question you asked. You asked how I got into the master's program. But before I go there, I want to, like, just put in my um, research essay. And you should know for my research essay, I did consult my developmental biology lecturer at the time in my biotech course. And she helped me kind of, like, go through it. And, I mean, I haven't really gone through it ever since then. I'll just link this somewhere so that you can go read it and it was only one page i remember my lecture at the time telling me that um it should only be one page because you know pis are very busy people you don't want to put like a three-page thing like they don't know you that much huh anyway and then i also did my resume which was also in one page and I did this using Word, and I can't find the Word format because I only have the PDF. Now I don't know how to edit it again unless I got like Adobe, Adobe, and like, you know, yeah, maybe sometime I will. Anyway, that's not the point. So like my internship got extended because of the pandemic. So I stayed here all the way up to September. That's when my internship finished. And right after that is when I started my master's course. And of course the master's course, um, application process they do have the like based on the college you're interested university you're interested in they do have the application do documents up um, on their website 
and um, you can go through them and kind of like just put in all the information that they require for you but um, what I think was important was the interview because they did initially if it wasn't the pandemic times I would have to fly over to Japan just to take an English exam and another exam I think a science related exam to see you know how good I was exactly to yeah to enter into the university but because it was the pandemic times it was an interview and since I was already here yeah the interview was just in English they asked me um, basic questions honestly I prepared for that interview thinking that the questions were gonna be like very mm, but they were just very mm, you know you get me like what is the difference between um, mitosis and meiosis like what are you serious I stayed up all night for this <laughs> but yeah and then yeah um, I didn't have any Japanese exam that I needed to take because the master's programs here are conducted in English well yes the lab that I'm in they speak English to me and you know everything yeah anyway and so that's kind of like how I applied for the master's program it's not very complicated you just need to know which pi which lab you want to apply to and you can do this by reading a bunch of papers like just give me a second like y'all i'm ready like you can see in this paper for instance maybe i'll put a soft copy of this paper but this is a paper i just read last week and in this paper you have the email address of the pi right there and if you read papers like these you know or just textbooks that chapters that refer you to like certain papers for instance you can find the research that you're interested in essentially you'd be like oh i'm interested in this work look at what they did it's so interesting and then you email the professors i'm there are many people out there that are kind of looking for like PhD students to join their lab. You know, you just need to be intrigued in their research. And so, yeah, that's my big tip right there. Like just email them and be sure you ask questions regarding the paper you've read, you know. And um, what else can I say? Yeah, once you email them and they tell you, yeah, sure, you know, why not? Also send a research essay, your CV, of course and yeah those are like the first steps only after you get like that first step is when you can proceed to applying to, for the university because if you don't have a lab you're gonna join then what's the point of you applying you understand what i'm trying to say so yeah you have to find that supervisor that is doing research that just fireworks in your brain you feel me and yeah, it would be really nice if you found a scholarship as well because I also found a private scholarship for me to be able to learn here and maybe that could be another video. I don't know because I have like footage from last time as well. So that could be helpful. My undergrad degree was biotechnology. Um, yeah, I did bachelor's of science bracket biotechnology bracket honors. Um, and yeah, uh, um, I'm looking for an area of interest which I should be narrowing down or I'm looking for a question which one answers in the master's or how do you know this is what you wanted to do? So usually once you get to the master's program, like me, like I knew I wanted to do stem cells, but I didn't know what I wanted to do in stem cells. Like you have no clue, you know, what you really want to do. Or maybe some of you out there already have an idea of like what question you want to solve and so you look for that particular lab and you if you can see if the professor is already like you know working on that or if he can allow you to work on that um but yeah i didn't have any question in mind i was just like oh i don't learn about stem cells oh that would be so nice but i don't act like that but um yeah that's kind of like so the professors because there are three professors in my lab um, in the lab that I'm in and so the three professors kind of like laid out their projects for me They were like which one are you interested in and the other two professors kind of like merged the project and the other one So I'm working on two projects at the moment. So these are projects that were given to me and like 
it's difficult to kind of love them in my honest opinion i'm just gonna be honest here in the very beginning it was just very difficult to grasp and just to like oh fall in love with these things because it's not you know it's you don't know what to expect but gradually as i keep doing these projects i see what i'm leaning towards to and what i don't really like and like who i'd really like to work under or like you know um what i am passionate about and interested in well i still haven't figured it out yet but you know i think it's a process that clicks one step at a time so if you figure out that step that you will at, then it's eventually going to lead you to that next step so as for me um i remember learning in class about induced pluripotent stem cells and just how the fact that they can revert back into you know a stem cell state um from an adult cell you know and that just very that just sparked me sparked my interest because i was already interested in like developmental biology but i didn't know what exactly in developmental cell biology i was interested in but like when when i landed on stem cells i was like this is it man this is it and that was kind of like that step and after like getting to that step which was finding a lab that did stem cells i know you'd say why didn't you do ips cells it's because i just wanted to understand the basic you know stem cells just stem stem cells and yeah that's the lab i'm at right now and i'm getting to learn so many so much stuff like this paper i had to read it four times because each and every week i do like a presentation um the professor gives me um, a paper and i read it and i have to present on it and so it's very important for me to understand them you know i'm not just reading them to like oh gain something like uh, uh, you know it's yeah it's the papers he thinks that this research is kind of like good research and i would like you to know the methodology or like how they do things and stuff like that <sighs> i'm speaking a lot so uh yeah i don't know if anything i'm making is making sense though i'm i'm all i'm trying to say is take it a step at a time figure out what step you are at right now and what really in, in interests you and i'm sure with time you're gonna find that you know spike and i didn't know it was stem cells until like like almost in my last year i think or like the beginning of my last year yeah so things like that is what i'm telling you to watch out for um what else what other questions do i have 